What's going on guys, Dubs here, back with another RuneScape video. We're going to be checking out some plugins, and it's going to be a long one, so let's just jump right into it. First plugin we're going to be checking out is the HD client, 117 HD client on RuneLight. And as soon as you turn it on, you'll notice that, boom, the game completely looks different. And it's just a gorgeous, stunning HD polished version of the game. The creatures look cooler, some of them are reskinned. You can change a whole bunch of stuff inside the settings in it too, like the draw distance, extended map loading. For our next plugin, we're going to be checking out the agility plugin right here. It's pretty useful, and when you turn that on, it highlights all the agility shortcuts and training courses in the game, making them more visible and easy to click, which is extremely handy. Inside the settings on it, you can change the colors of the overlays and stuff like that. You can do lap counters, and you can show click boxes. Uh, the lap counter is pretty useful. to put it in, in pretty much on the top left-hand corner of your screen and show you how many laps you've done and laps per hour. Extremely useful plugin. For our next plugin we're going to be looking at, it is going to be the Animation Smoothing plugin. The Animation Smoothing plugin is pretty cool to where it smooths all of your character's animations for walking, attacking, punching. If you have Door Kicker on, it uh, improves the animation for Door Kicker and makes it look more smooth. And it just, in general, makes the game look a little bit more polished, especially if you're using the HD117 client. Alright, for our next plugin, we're going to check out the Annoyance Mute plugin. This one is super handy, and I love it. Uh, for anyone that's out there that enjoys woodcutting, this one is huge. Have you Once you reach the magic tree level, and you start cutting magic trees, you'll notice that the sound of the magic trees is absolutely horrible. You can mute the sound of the magic trees themselves and still hear yourself cutting the wood and AFK and just listen for that ticking sound. It's kind of a nice little metronome and the magic trees just ruin it. It's a horrible sound. Uh, you can mute quite a few other sounds in here. You can mute the harpoon fish sound for shooting them out of a cannon. You can type them in right here if you guys would like to mute any specific sounds. Uh, you can also mute ambient sounds in the game so you can leave on some of the ambient sounds like you can mute the quacks of the ducks and things like that over in the fishing guild. Um, you can mute prayer sounds and tons, tons of stuff in here, the pickpocket sounds, town criers, fantastic plugin, highly check out, recommend checking out the annoyance mute plugin. For our next plugin, we're going to be checking out the anti-drag plugin. This plugin is also pretty useful for things like barbarian fishing where you're dropping your inventory constantly so you aren't moving anything around in your inventory when you're trying to speed shift click and drop your inventory quick and stuff like that. You can set a delay for the amount of time for the like drag swap. So like there's I have a 10 delay, but you could move this up a whole bunch and put it at something like 50 to where like you can't boom, see that delay right there. So I, I like to keep it at 10 so it knows I wanted to do it. The next plugin we're going to be checking out is Banked Experience. Banked Experience is pretty useful. You can turn on a couple of the settings if you'd like to, but then once you're done with that, head over to the tab over here. And inside this tab, you can see all of your banked levels accumulated from your items inside of your bank, and essentially just lets you know, hey, I should go level this skill. I have five or four levels just sitting there in the bank. All right, for the next plugin, we're going to be checking out the Canon plugin. The Canon plugin is super useful for, for the fact that once it is fully set up, it highlights the multi hit spots for you, meaning that you will shoot two cannonballs at a single target for having them on the multi hit spots. Extremely useful and recommended for anybody that wants to get 99 rangers just sitting there chilling doing some slayer with their cannon out. Absolutely love this plugin. I have used it ever since I found it and I think everyone gets a good kick out of it. For our next plugin, we're going to be checking out Chimbampa. As you can see, my cannon right here is not shooting out the standard cannonballs. It is shooting out chinchampas. They're freaking adorable and they explode. So you might as well turn it on and have some fun with this. It's nothing but cosmetics. You don't actually load it with chinchampas. You still load it with cannonballs, but they're adorable. For our next plug-in, we're going to be checking out the bot detector plug-in. It's a lot of fun. It automatically detects and reports bots for you as you're running around and it just accumulates them over time and uploads them to some sort of database where they flag them and send them over to Jagex. As you can see right here, guys, I have confirmed bands of 7,284 bots. 
possible bans of 22,000 and currently uploading 286 accounts to be checked out if they're bots or not. For our next plugin, we're going to be checking out Entity Hider. Entity Hider is one of my favorites for when I'm skilling or just doing random things like Winter Todd or other bosses like that. Once you turn it on, it hides all other players that are not on your friends list or in your clan. You can also turn it on to hide your friends or pets or NPCs or anything in the game really. For my next plugin, anybody not wanting to use the HD117 plugin and not feeling like playing in those polished graphics, I personally like to play in the old school look myself. I use the GPU plugin. The GPU plugin still allows you to increase your draw distance and your extended map loading. You can change the fog depth and compute shaders and a couple of other things. Turn off FPS or your VSync, unlock your FPS, and increase your target FPS. Next plugin we're going to check out It's going to be Equipment Inspector. This one's super cool for the fact that if you're standing at the Grand Exchange, you're just running through anywhere and you're like, oh my god, that guy's got some really cool armor on, or this guy has some really cool armor on, I wonder what it is. You can right click their character and it has an equipment setting right here and you can just click it and on the right side of your screen it'll pull up everything that they're wearing so he's got the cabbage cape on and some green dehyde and a zombie mask and whatnot so you can be like oh so that's all i need all right so the next plugin we're going to check out is item stats this one's useful for if you want to see if a piece of armor is better than the other one without checking out the wiki or asking people. So I have Darox equipped right now and I'm just going to mouse over a Bandos chest plate. And as you can see it says that I get a plus one prayer bonus and a plus four melee strength bonus. And I also get a plus 15 to magic attack. But I also lose some defensive bonuses down below. Alright for our next plugin we're going to check out Loot Lookup. Loot Lookup lets you right click on any NPC in the game that has a drop table and it'll have lookup drops. You can do that and it'll tell you every drop that the guard has as well as his drop chance on them. I want to see what Zolcano drops or any boss in the game and it'll show you the drops on the bosses. You can also scroll down and see their uniques. For our next plugin, we're going to check out Logout Timer. This one's pretty useful for anyone that walks away from their computer for extended periods and doesn't want to keep logging in and out of their account and have to wait for it every time they come back. You can set your own Logout Timer for an idle timeout. Mine is set for 25 minutes. Alright, so the next plugin we're going to check out is Flipping Utilities. This one is pretty useful for anyone out there on the Grand Exchange trying to make a nice chunk of change. In the settings over here, you can change your own return on investment and a couple uh, set trade stagnations for the timer on them and whatnot. Go ahead and check out the settings and mess with them. But on the right side of your screen, coming over to this flipping utilities icon, once inside of here, you can see all of your slots in the grand exchange for your offers on gear. You can check out your flips and what you've been investing in and what you've bought. You can see uh, your return on investment roughly. So right now I'm flipping a short bow on strong. I love this plugin. They insta buy for 20 gold. They insta sell for nine. I have a buy offer in for them for nine coins as well. Um, return on investment for them is 122%. So potential profit on them is 110,000. Absolutely love this plugin. Recommend anybody wanting to flip start using this flipping utilities plugin. Our next plugin we're going to be checking out is Consumable Cooldowns. For this plugin, it's pretty simple. All you do is when you eat, it shows the cooldown timer from when the next time you can consume some food is. But everybody just spam clicks anyways. Inside the settings on Consumable Cooldowns, you can change the text color that appears over your food or consumable item as you're eating it. And you could also change the boldness of the font, the width of it, and the height of it. Whatever you really feel like once you uh, start messing with it. For our next plugin, we're going to check out Combat Level. Combat Level is useful because it gives you a pretty accurate depiction of what skills you might need to level up for your next official Combat Level. So I'm sitting at Combat Level 123.85. And if I gain one defense or one hit point level, I'll go to 124. Or I can gain 41 magic levels or 35 ranged levels and... I can't necessarily gain 35 range levels as you can see I'm already sitting at 98 so I'm better off going to go for that defense level if my goal is to hit to 124 combat. Alright for our next plugin we're going to check out menu entry swapper. This one is fantastic it really makes the game a lot more simple for a lot of the skills that require you to like right click and have to click again and select a certain setting. 
Um, here's an example for pickpocketing guards right here. Instead of right clicking and having to go to pickpocket guard and my character runs up and pickpockets, I can hold the shift button and right click this guard and swap the left click over to pickpocket. And now every time I just left click, my guy will just run up and start pickpocketing the guard. Um, to do this inside the settings over here, over here, you'll need to make sure you have on customizable left click and customizable shift click. That'll give you the option to customize your shift click and your left click options. You can also use it on things in your inventory and items. So instead of equipping this mythical cape, if I wanted to set it so I teleport it every time, I can swap the left click over to teleport. So now all I do is just teleport every time I tap it. Alright, so the next plugin we're going to check out is the High Scores plugin. This one's pretty cool. It's this little trophy over here on the right side of your screen. It lets you look up other people's accounts. You can see what their stats are on their guy, their combat level, and how many bosses they've killed. Uh, you can also right click a player. And once you right click the player, you can just use the look up option as well. For our next plugin, we're going to check out Spam Filters. Spam Filters is pretty useful for anyone that's doing some bank standing or does extended periods at the Grand Exchange. All you have to do is go ahead and turn it on, and inside the settings over here, you can set the threshold of how much it would you would like it to filter the chat. So you can put it at like a 50% filter, and it'll do its best to filter most of the chats, and it won't really filter out regular players then. Uh, but you might catch still some spam from, you know, crazy people at the Grand Exchange. But most of the bots will be filtered out at around 50%. Alright, for our next plugin, let's check out ground items. There's a whole bunch of settings in here. You're going to have it highlight certain items in the game when they appear on the ground. You're going to have it hide certain items when they're on the ground. Set a value threshold before items' names will appear on the ground. Um, and what I mean by that is, I'm going to drop some sharks here, and as you can see, it shows the value of it on the Grand Exchange, and it's high ALK value. You can set a loot beam value, so certain high value items that you set down on the ground will be highlighted. For the final plugin in the video, we're going to check out Tile Indicators. Tile Indicators is extremely useful for anybody doing end game content, or just trying to take down certain bosses and avoid doing damage. I personally like to use it at Vorkath and Wooks Walking as well as Toa and basically everywhere in the game I just leave it on full time now. Uh, it highlights your current location, your true location in game. It also highlights the tile if you want to of where your mouse is at. And what I mean by that is, see my character running right here and how this uh, green tile is slightly ahead of where my character is at? That is actually my character's true location. Alright guys, so that is all the plugins we're going to check out today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like for me. And if you'd like to see another plugin video in the future of all the plugins that I use, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to join the new school community, go ahead and head over to our Discord. The link is down below in the description. If you'd like to hang out with us live, you can go ahead and head over to our Twitch. We stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I know the crew would love to hang out with you guys and see you pop into stream. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you've made it this far, game on my friends, and I'll see you next time.